Hey guys, Dan at Silver Lake Auto, here with Kyle. Kyle's just standing next to me, so I figured I'd grab him and throw him in here. You can carry on, Kyle. Thank you. So today we're going to talk about timing belts and uh, replacing timing belts on your vehicle. This here we have a Volkswagen with about 100,000 miles on it. You can see it looks like a very intimidating job with putting a vehicle in service mode. Um, but uh, we got this, won't be a big deal. You can see on this timing belt, 100,000 miles. Uh, this is the old timing belt. See all the cracks starting in it. This belt has reached its life. And uh, eventually what can happen is these teeth can start getting stripped off. And when these teeth get stripped off, your engine comes out of time and can cause some major damage. Uh, so, new belt you can see here. Doesn't have any, nice and flexible, doesn't have any cracks. Teeth looking like they're in really good shape. Um, also, when you're doing the timing belt, very good idea to replace some other crucial components. On this Volkswagen, you can see the water pump runs off of the timing belt. Uh, these bearings can actually seize up inside of here and cause the belt to fail prematurely if you don't do that. Along with that, there's also a tensioner. This tensioner is on a pulley and it spins. Uh, bearings inside of there too. Same thing. Uh, the belt could fail prematurely because these bearings could fail. So you want to make sure that you're uh, servicing everything on there, including even the tensioner that holds the tension on the belt. Uh, but I just want to give you guys a quick little view and video of the timing belt service on a Volkswagen. and. Uh, Hope you found this information uh, informative to you. Thank you.